I'm pretty sure anyone who's familiar with my work knew where this story was ending when I tweeted this only 15 days ago. It was the first time I'd ever bought a pack of Pokemon cards in my life. I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew that was pretty and shiny. Fast forward just over two weeks. And it's time for my first ever Pokemon trading card game booster box pack opening video. I'm like fully addicted now. Hello folks and welcome to a video I never really expected to be doing. But I, I'm telling you now, I suspect there'll be plenty more of these on the channel over the coming weeks and months. I have gone all in fully committed absolutely obsessed and addicted to the pokemon trading card game going from a complete standing start just a couple of weeks ago knowing nothing about the tcg to playing it every day online spending far too much money on it already starting a collection and as you already know getting stuck into my first booster box pack opening i'm so excited i couldn't even wait for the new expansion that is i mean it came out right now which has i've ordered it it just hasn't arrived yet i had to get one that i could get my hands on sooner so there will be brilliant stars coming soon for now we have a box of sword and shield fusion strike we're going to open these in just a second but before i do that for those of you who are new because i know stuff like this has a habit of coming up in search occasionally here on youtube at first if you are new make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on don't be misled by a lot of the vlogging stuff that's on this channel we're in the middle of a rebrand a change of direction we're going full nerd on the channel now and as you can see from all of the goodies behind me i do like a collection and not only do i like a collection i like a card game and i like pokemon but for some reason i've never combined all of them together before which it baffles me now, looking back, how I've managed to go the last 20, 25 years, never even giving the game a try. Because I still have my Pokemon Blue Game Boy cartridge. It's tucked away in a cupboard now, but it still exists until very recently. It used to live on my desk. I've played every version of Pokemon that's come out over the years, um, as in the console versions, the Game Boy version, the DS version, more recently, the Switch versions. I've been really getting into them over the last few months uh, with the release of Brilliant Diamond last year. Really enjoyed that. Went back and replayed Sword and Shield, which I'd never finished the first time round. Really enjoyed that. Loved Let's Go. I even loved Let's Go on the Switch. I love my Switch. Pokemon Go, five years ago when that hit, I was all in on that. Absolutely loved it. I've started watching the anime in the last six months or so. I have been dragged deeper and deeper into Pokemon. But for some reason, not until now, tried the card game, despite the fact I have a bit of previous of playing card games attached to games that I don't even play. For example, loved Hearthstone, played that to death over the years, never played League of Legends or played it like once or twice, didn't really care for it. Loved Gwent, never really got into The Witcher. I don't know what it is with me. I just, I like, have I mentioned, I like a card game. So I was wandering around Tesco the other week. They had these little tins of Pokemon trading cards. And I just picked one up on a whim. Said to Anna, I'm, I'm getting this. Just want to have a look. And um, got them home, opened them up. And the pack opening juices started flowing. I've always been one for opening packs. Last summer, I did the full collection of the uh, Euros stickers. Loved that. Done stickers for years trading cards have gone back many years for me i had batman cards as a kid I, i've loved that kind of stuff i collect comic books anything you can collect i am big on and um just opening those first couple of packs uh, and just opening those first couple of packs i knew then that that normality was done for me at that point i took the online codes and started playing tcg online that night loved the game the next day i went back to the same supermarket and bought out their entire stock of everything they had and opened all of those i ordered a few bits online i have got quite the collection now i'll show you them in another video at some point that's not what this video is about but just wanted to bring you up to speed with where i am so be gentle with me i am only two weeks into this but i am obsessive 
there will be plenty of it but i think it's probably time we crack this bad boy open isn't it because i need to get me some cards opened up I need a knife as well oh, so exciting so very exciting if you're wondering where i got this from by the way um it's a website or a company a shop that i've seen at comic-con multiple times over the years and um never really paid any attention to because they didn't sell anything that i was interested in but when i was searching for uh pokemon cards when i first look at it when i first decided i needed to take the plunge and get myself some um i initially ordered a load off of amazon and then started reading some of the reviews about people who'd had resealed packs and stuff that wasn't necessarily fully legit off of amazon got spooked cancelled a couple of other orders that i had on there and went searching for somewhere like a proper card shop where i could get legit product um and that's when i googled magic madhouse found them recognized the name from comic Con, and they had so much stuff and it was cheaper than it was on amazon as well um i've i've actually set up a, a affiliate code with them as well so if you want to support the channel and buy yourself some goodies at magic madhouse you can the link is at the top of the description below full disclosure i do get a little bit of a kickback if you do that but frankly i need the kickback because i've bought too many cards from them i i've had several big boxes of deliveries from them already i need to recoup some of that or anna is going to kill me so we have the box open there it is with the little display thing that you'd get in your little news agents at the top there and i guess it's time to uh just start opening some packs to the handheld camera look at them i mean they're just they're just fun i love all this i am i'm too old to be getting into this but it isn't going to stop me can't even can't even get the thing open my hand i'm so excited my hands are too slippery i'm slipping off the cards this is i'm far more excited than you would expect me to be as a grown man um so i've watched a lot of this on the internet trying to learn all the tricks so first of all we have the online codes which i'm i mean i'm redeeming them myself full disclosure i know a lot of pokemon creators give those away but i'm still still so new i could use some decent pokemon on the online game which i am playing for hours every day at the moment so i'm keeping them i need them okay but uh from there i'm pretty sure the trick is you put four cards to the back like i just have you then get an energy card on top and then theoretically that keeps the goodies to the back of the pack if you've got anything good it's going to be in the last couple of cards um now this is where my knowledge of pokemon themselves is gonna prove a little bit iffy because i mean how am i supposed to say that one anyone who's seen my football sticker openings now i'm terrible at pronouncing stuff and you start me off with a pyukumoku never heard of it um we have a schoolgirl trainer card um another trainer card a shelmet i know what a shelmet is i'm familiar with those and a drill but see now we're getting to the ones that i recognize and um, we then have a shoulder rapid strike card i've kind of experimented a little bit with rapid strike on the online game so i vaguely am aware of how the rapid strike mechanics work i've got a rapid strike deck um and a single strike volt orb um, we have a reverse hollow chancy and then on the very back of the pack we have a very shiny full art sydney trainer card which is they're just they're just pretty aren't they very very pretty we're gonna put them uh put them over there is this see this is where my my rookie status comes into play is that really good Do, is that something i feel like because it's so shiny it should be going into a sleeve um, we'll put it there for now you can tell me in the comments what should be going in sleeves what mistakes am i making uh because like i say i'm two weeks in i'm gonna i'm gonna make some i'm gonna make some errors i'm certain i'm gonna make some errors but we'll learn together if you're new to the game this is going to be your opportunity to learn with me and we'll discover the game together both the collecting side of things and playing because like i say i'm loving playing it as well so we have our energy card and very i mean i like the art on that card i mentioned before really into comic books and that is just some really cool comic style art on a nine tails there and um, we've got a trainer card a low punny rapid strike i always thought when i've seen that on pokemon go i always thought it was low bunny is there a low bunny as well or have i just been misreading that for like the last five years a basculin rapid strike a grubbin mankey 
a crow gunk a panseer uh we've got the reverse hollow minnan and an appleton v card which again looks very snazzy and like i say early days on the online game i'm i'm kind of just getting to the point where i'm learning what the v cards are i know they're pretty powerful but i've uh, i've spent a lot of time going through the tutorials playing with starter decks and the limited amount of cards that i've got it takes a long time to accumulate some cards online so i've not really had a huge amount of exposure to playing with really good cards yet which is why i'm hoping not just to pull some really cool stuff uh, for the physical collection as part of doing this i'm hoping to get a whole bunch of um online codes so that i can get a, lo a load more cards and get some good stuff and start assembling some decent decks on the uh, on the online version of the game as well um so we've got a reverse hollow pangoro and a fusion strike orikorio as our rare card in that one how many names have i butchered so far should we should we keep a count down in the comments below how many how many codes has kev not codes how many names has kev already got desperately desperately wrong i imagine it's a fair few so we have our energy card on top a sharpedo a heliolisk dunsparce a Munna, meowth maril helioptile a wooloo and the reverse hollow dragapult and then a latios fusion strike card which again some of these cards just look really really cool that's i mean that that's all you need to attract me a card game where you can both open packs collect see cool art and play a fun game i'll never stop i'll never stop being baffled that it's taken me so long to discover that the pokemon tcg exists i don't know how i've missed it for so long so energy card we have a trainer card a gliscor mandibuzz shelder caterpie Drillbore, drill drillba shinks a rapid stripe Bonaire, rapid strike Bonaire, and we've got the reverse hollow sizzilipede and a zero zerora which he just looks he looks rock hard i wouldn't want to pick a fight with him goodness me what a strong looking boy he is right oh we've picked up two packs there oh the horror i guess we shall have to open them both i think we'll probably be fine so grab these get that open get the online code down there we'll be adding all those in long before this video releases so don't be thinking you can sneak in and get them they'll already be long redeemed and i'll be playing with them days in advance of this video coming out we've got a thrust muff a togid togidimaru togidimaru we'll, we'll learn them a quick ball say i already know quick ball is a really useful card i've been learning that a clam pearl more peco a scamori scamori shelmet plusle um the reverse shiny meltan goodness me do i remember meltan in pokemon go i remember being stood in the egx in egx at the nec in birmingham just as meltan appeared in pokemon go and nobody knew what was going on what a kerfuffle that weekend was so i'm fully familiar with him and then we have an azumarill as our rare card in that pack so i do have a little bit of pedigree with pokemon in general it's just the card game that i'm super new at but believe me if you've been around on the channel for a while and you know how obsessive my mind gets you know full well i'm catching up it won't it won't take me long you can imagine how much content how much pokemon content i've consumed in the last couple of weeks as part of trying to catch up already so our energy card Hol holucha a lapras that's another card i've got a water deck that i've been using quite a lot online and um, it's my favorite deck that i've got in there at the moment it's still i mean early early days but my lapras card is it's kind of my go-to early on um so pretty cool to have a physical version of that a schoolboy card a totodial Boneri, clobopus tynamo a Zor zorua um, we've got a reverse hollow cook what does a cook do heals 70 damage from the active pokemon lovely stuff and then a toxtricity very snazzy uh hollow rare card and that just looks really really cool i like that a lot as well let's uh pop that on there should that is that one that should have been in a sleeve 
you some of you are going to get so cross with me in the in the comments that i'm not sleeving some of these up i've got the sleeves there ready i just don't know what to i don't i i haven't yet got to the point where i can recognize what a really good rare card is i'm kind of viewing it more as a player at the moment um looking for stuff that's going to be cool for me to play the online game with and really keen to have a game of this in real life that's that's my next step where can i go and play this should i be taking a couple of decks to comic-con in a few months time so should. yes i will um right we've got a trainer card another trainer card we've got a nine tails a manti mantine mantin grubbin rotom rotom a smeargle a carvania oh ho, 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 that is very cool we've got the reverse hollow lapras it's my boy the lapras and then that just looks awesome we've got a greed and v max uh with all of the fancy shiny full art goodness i like that i mean i i i don't care i don't care what the rules are this one's going in a sleeve i'm sure it's probably supposed to anyway it just looks so cool the v max cards are really really nice to look at and um we want to make sure it stays nice and i can get that into my binder because yeah of course of course kev's already got a couple of binders you knew i was going to have a couple of binders already surely right let's keep cracking on with these i'm having it i'm having such a nice time this is awesome this is going to be a very expensive hobby i this was a bad idea and i never should have let me get that first pack of cards the other week uh so we have our energy card a bug catcher um some fusion strike energy a turtonator a Galarian Meowth, Gossifleur, Panpour, an Eevee. See, I know what an Eevee is. I recognize an Eevee, a Shinx, the Reverse Hollow Nine Tails, and then a Huntail Fusion Strike card, which looks snazzy. Some of these, just, the art, just the art gets me. It's so cool. Um, we're building quite the pile over there already, and we still have, we've probably still got two thirds of this box to go through. You get a lot of packs of cards in here uh childhood kev is so excited that i'm just getting to open pack after pack after pack of anything because this is not something i would have got to do as a kid no kid would surely uh so we have an energy card uh we've got the quick ball cook a morgrem a sigilith toxel totodile i know who he is Boneri, a clobopus who's trying to escape from me a reverse hollow luxray who looks very very snazzy and then a galarian cursola as our rare card in there some of these uh some of these pokemon i've not really met before i need to learn about because they look really really snazzy all right let's try not to tear the pack to shreds i've got to, someone's got to clean up after me here it's probably probably gonna be me so four to the floor apparently four to the back turn it over then we get the energy card we try not to drop everything all over the desk we have a stantler a centiscorch a gliscor phalanx this is just a cool pack more peco we've got a smeargle a quillfish a tynamo a reverse hollow obstagoon it just looks awesome and a Landorus with the hollow, uh, the hollow shiny shiny on there. It's probably a technical name for that that I've not picked up by osmosis from all the content that I've been watching. You know, you already know I've picked up Reverse Hollow. I'm all over that. I've heard that be used by people, but I don't know. Is that was that a shiny? Is that a shiny? I see shiny. I know shiny from the video game. I know shiny from Pokemon Go. Was that a shiny? Teach me, boys and girls. Teach me all about the pokemon tcg add me on the online thing i'm lelujo on there i don't know how many friends you can have but add me let's have a game teach me to play so we have our energy card graveler mushana heatmore a galarian zigzagoon a mankey clown clauncher a growlith very familiar with the growlith i'm um, having played pokemon arceus recently um we have the stuffle the reverse hollow copper 
and we have a breloom v card with really shiny eyes which i feel like that's another one that probably needs to go in a sleeve just to just to stop my sticky little fingers from wrecking it next pack then come on give me something awesome i don't really know what the awesome stuff is in this set i've done no research probably should have got an idea of what i what i would want from a collector perspective at least but because i'm so new my collection is so small i just want everything Every, everything is cool and exciting even another lapras it's all cool and exciting at uh, gliscor and gossifler panpour another eevee and a shinx a shelmet oh very pretty reverse hollow eevee see i like that one very much and an oricorio as well as our rare card there keep the cards flowing kev this is what we want cards are plenty we're gonna need a bigger binder well we're gonna need a bigger office to put all this stuff in that's probably a more pressing issue uh, so four to the back there and then we get our um our energy card a togedimaru i couldn't say to tojid tojid toj we got this guy got one of those a sharpedo gossifleur mudkit a sand shrew almost looks like a photograph of him that's mad a kufant kufant impidimp what a name a reverse hollow halucha and a golem who looks like it proper terrifying um he has got some oomph behind him as well but he does 100 he does 30 damage to himself at 160 damage to the baddies the opposition that works for me that's a trade-off i can make i feel like that's a that's a card i could use we'll figure it out if anyone's got any tips on how to build a deck fire in my way is at the moment i'm only playing with pre-made decks i'm not brave enough to make my own yet but as i get more and more cards we've got to get brave at some point that's the next level of the obsession so gliscor stantler centiscorch sizzlipede stuffle that's a cool card a sandy ghast a plusle a vulpix a reverse hollow metapod and a Gen genesect genesect genus genesect v i'm gonna say gen, gen genesect right i think we're about halfway through now we're going to continue just getting loads of cool stuff for the collection like i say almost as excited about the online codes because i get to i had to go and do all this again i get to open another 32 packs online which is awesome right we have our energy card phalanx simisage a dancer card a clauncher another growlith stuffle sigilith a toxel a reverse hollow golem we've had some golem cards today and a very cool looking toxic croak card which just looks awesome another very cool card i like the pack art and everything as well i i know i keep going on. i will stop going on about it i don't know how it's just taken me 20 plus years i don't know what i was doing but i don't know what i was distracted by something got something distracted me and stopped me getting into this sooner so an energy card a trainer card a low punny another trainer card a makuhita a rookie d a galarian darumaka a sizzlipede stuffle we have a reverse hollow chancy which looks very cool and a cinderace v now i know all about cinderace used him in the video game and that is just a very very cool card where are these sleeves let's get him sleeved up like that very very much he's so he's a he's a single strike which like i say i've not really used single strike just yet um i do have a single strike pre-built deck that i bought that I haven't taken out of the box yet so i haven't used yet I haven't had the online code but i have the um I have the rapid strike it's the urshifuru one i got both the rapid strike and single strike versions of those decks 
And I've been playing with the rapid strike one a little bit to learn that mechanic. And then I'll do the same with the single strike. Like I say, we throw ourselves in at the deep end around these around these parts. So we have an energy card, a trainer card, a frost muff, a nine tails, Munna, Meowth, Maril, Helioptile, a Wooloo, a reverse hollow Slugma. And I didn't think we had another card on the back there. We've got a Blissey card as well. I think we just had a Chansey. Yeah, we got a Chansey a minute ago. So we can evolve our Chansey into a Blissey. Beautiful. See, we're starting to build a deck. I don't know if I'm going to build a deck that has a Chansey and a Blissey in, but we might do. Never say never. So we have a Water Energy, a Corvus Squire, Sand Slash, Swadloon, another Makuhita, a Panpur, a Seawaddle, a Skarmori, a Jinx. They're just so weird looking. So weird looking. A Reverse Hollow Voltorb and a Holographic Feral... Feral... Gata. It occurs to me how few of these I've ever said out loud because obviously the Pokemon games aren't voice acted. So because I say I've started watching the anime... That entails me still being on like the really early stuff from 20 plus years ago. None of these are in that. It's like the original 150 odd. So I've probably never heard a lot of these ever be said out loud. Despite the fact I'm familiar with most of them. And it's like, I don't know what they are. No idea how to say some of these words. Right, we have a Persian. We got a Meowth before, didn't we? So we're building some of these little evolution partnerships. Uh, we have... A twisted card, a Galarian Darmanitan, a Quillfish, a Vulpix, a Chansey, a Galarian Zigzagoon, a Mankey, a Reverse Hollow Caterpie, and a very snazzy, full art, schoolboy, shiny, shiny. Anything that's this shiny gets a sleeve. What's going on with that? How's that? Prote that's the worst sleeve in the world. Let's try a different one. Goodness me, what has gone on there? Pop that in there. In you go. Lovely old stuff. We take another pack. As with the uh, wrestling card video that I did the other day as well, Feedback on the filming side and the editing side of these. Very much welcome in the early days of this kind of content on the channel. Where did that energy card come from? Well, this is messing up the card trick. We're just going to have to do this. We're going to have to do this in the order it comes out of the pack. We had a loose energy card. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the, um, of the filming style. I have invested in an overhead camera rig, but it hasn't arrived yet. So there's our reverse hollow spongy hands and a Kangaskhan. And then we get the early stuff. Oh, this pack's... It's all messed up. We There there are two energy cards in this. How would it... Perhaps it came out of the other pack? I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, what do you think of this as a camera angle? Do you think overhead would be better? We want a mix of the two. Um, like I say, we are going to be doing a lot of this kind of content on the channel. It's my latest obsession. Um, anyone who was around for the summer of Minecraft last year knows what i get like when i get obsessed with something so there's gonna be a lot of pokemon tcg content so i want to get it right i want you to enjoy it i want you to stick around for it so let me know what would make it better let me know creators i should go and check out to learn from because i am like i say consuming so much content trying to learn so let me know who i should be watching to learn from du dupider reverse hollow and a latios as our final card from that pack we are probably down to maybe 10 packs remaining in here now which is it's still that's still a lot of packs of trading cards the little the piles i was gonna say the little piles these are big piles of cards that we're accumulating here uh we've got a lot to be working through because you know what i'm like i'm gonna be putting these in order i'm gonna be putting them in binders these aren't just staying in a pile oh no mr nerdy obsession man can't possibly just leave them in a pile. I don't think we've had a pans here so far. That's cool. Because obviously we want at least one of everything in this set. So that we can start forming a deck. Azumarill is the reverse hollow. And Electros. Again, is something that we didn't already have. Which is very, very cool. 
So, I guess the other thing I'd like to know, do you play or collect Pokemon yourself? One or the other, or both, I'm interested. Are you a collector? Are you a player? Are you just here because you want to see what it's all about? Um, answers to those kind of questions I'll find very interesting down in the comments below. Um, and also, if you are into it, there's something shiny at the back. How did you get into it? And how long have you been into it? And how did you learn? I want to know everything. Inject your knowledge into my brain. We have our reverse hollow phalanx and then something very shiny. It's a Dodrio V. And goodness me, does he look angry? My word, what a grumpy old multi-headed emu type creature he is. Oh, let's put him in let's put him in a sleeve where he can't do us any more damage. He's uh, he's got a grumpy on. There we go. So just a few more left now you can see there. We are down to what? I think eight packs after this one. How much does it annoy some of you that I've not been doing them evenly from each side? I know that upsets some of you. You should see the pile of packs, empty packs that we've got on the desk. If me not doing them in order upsets you, you should see the mess I've made. So our energy, we have an Elder Goss, Trainer Card, a Beware, a Vullaby, another Dupida, a Meowth, an Onyx. I don't think we had an Onyx yet out of this set. Tootle, a Reverse Hollow Cramomatic Trainer Card. And then a Mel Meloetta, which again, we definitely didn't have a Meloetta already. So another unique card for the collection, which is very much appreciated. Thank you, Pokemon gods. Who decides what's in the pack? Probably just the Pokemon company rather than... That line there might be, but I don't know. There might well be Pokemon gods for all I know. I don't know what all the lore is yet. Right, we have an energy card, as you would expect. A Beware. A Marsh Domp, a Crossiva, Sandigast, Plusle, Vulpix, Meltan, Toxel, a Reverse Hollow Ara Araquinid, and a Palosand, which, I mean, that's that's literally just a sandcastle. But it looks very, very cool. Um, with regard to Pokemon TCG content going forward as well, I know I'm bombarding you with questions, but this is... There's no planning here. This is just how my mind is working as I'm opening these. Um, do you want to see me play the game? Do you want to see some of the online stuff? Obviously, I've got all the gear to screen capture gaming. It's what I do as my job on my main channel. So do you want to see me actually playing the game? I'm not very good. I'm very much a beginner. But do you want to see that? We could maybe even do a video where I play some of you in a video. That might be cool. That might be a thing we could do here on the channel as we figure out what content is going to look like over here from now on. We have a reverse hollow Zorua and a clay doll. And we are down to, I think, seven packs remaining. As we wait for, we want at least one more big pull. We want something really, really cool out of this. Who knows what it might be? What are the big pulls out of Fusion Strike? I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments if I've already had one. Um, so energy card, a Simisage, which I don't think we've had so far. Another trainer card, a battle VIP pass, Star You, which I don't think we've got in this set, Mawil, Mawile, Makuhita, Panpour, a Siwaddle, the reverse hollow Marsh Tomp, and an Azumarill. So we're getting lots of these little um, evolution combos, which is always handy to have. Ah, I'm breaking my box. Right, we're just going to get these out of the box now because this is more hassle than it's worth now so we have one two three four five seven packs remaining let's get something good boys and girls come on now can't get into this one this one might be a forbidden pack can i can we come in please there we go we made it in eventually so one two three four Spin it around. Our energy. A Barriscuda, which I don't think we already had. Copper Raja. Another trainer card. A Shelmet. A Plusel. A Munna, which I don't think we had. Meowth. Maril. A Maractus Reverse Hollow. And oh, we've got something shiny again. 
a Rillaboom Rapid Strike V Max card. It occurs to me I probably shouldn't be sliding the card above it around over the top of it, teasing what it is, because if it was something really, really valuable or rare, that's probably a good way to scratch the surface of the card. See, if you ever had any doubt, even after hearing me speak, that I was a rookie, there was a little bit of proof for you. Right, six packs remaining. We can get into this one. There we go. So, one, two, three, four. And we have energy, a Morgrem, trainer card, a quick ball, a Smeargle, a Carvania, Clampurl, a Morpeko, a Skarmori single strike, a reverse hollow Helioptile, which I don't think we had so far. That's a cool looking card. And a Butterfree hollow card, which I don't think we have one of these. And I love a Butterfree. Butterfree is something that is more often than not in my party in the video game really handy will they be something that's in my in my deck as a tcg player no idea haven't really looked at what it does yet need to learn all that so four and then energy card graveler mushana eat more skarmori jinx mantine grubbin rotom a reverse hollow bug catcher trainer card and another, I say another, Did was it the V or the V Max we had before? Oh, we've got a little, we've got a little system. So we've got the Rillaboom V and the V Max, both rapid strike. That is handy to have both when it comes to obviously using the cards to play the game rather than just having them for a collection. We'd want more than one of each. I've learned that much. You don't want to build a deck around just one card because if you then don't get that card bit of problem but all that we've got one of each as a starting point i don't know if it's actually any good to play with um it looks quite expensive four energy to do 160 damage that's four energy to do 180 damage but it also does damage to self is that what it said oh no two two opponents benched pokemon that's actually pretty cool uh, I feel like that's usable. I'm sure you're all going to tell me it's not. Or tell me, we're only here because we collect. We don't play the game. Well, you're missing out. Playing the game is awesome. I am loving it. Did I mention that? So, energy. We have a Lopunny, a Har Hariyama, a Breloom, an Eevee, a Shelda, a Voltorb, a Pansage, a Kufant, a reverse hollow swampert and a maractus which i don't think we already had add it to the ever increasing pile of fusion strike cards that we have forming over there um pop our online code over there so energy an escadrill with x escadrill we didn't have one of these before i've not struggled to say that yet a Trevenant. I don't think we have that either. What a pack this is. A Kufant. An Impidimp. A Snom, which I don't think we have in this set. Onyx. This is a really cool pack. Jigglypuff we didn't have in this set. Skaters Park. Uh, we've got... And in fact, that was our reverse holo, wasn't it? And this is our holo Swampert. That was a cool pack. That had lots of things in that we didn't already have. That's what we want to be seeing. We want to be seeing... I mean, we're what? 28... 29 packs deep 30 i think this is pack 30 my thumb's going raw from opening all the packs but if we're still getting stuff we haven't already seen at this stage of the game that's a good thing i don't know how many unique cards there are in this set but to get new stuff after this many packs has got to be good primate simipore trainer card a snorlax oh what what a pokemon my spirit pokemon um, a Snom, a Dreepy, Makuhita, a Rookie D, Carvania Reverse Hollow, and an Asil Akilgore, Asilgore Fusion Strike with a Ninja Tornado move. Sounds threatening, doesn't it? Ninja Tornado. Two, two scary things combined together. Doubles the scary. Right, penultimate pack then. 
Um, so we take the four off the top, spin it over. We have the energy card and Macargo, Mag Cargo. That's another one where I've said that in my head a million times, never noticed that G. That's always been a Macargo. It's a Mag Cargo. A Charger Bug. We didn't already have one of those. A trainer card, a Helioptile, Wooloo, Gossifler, Mudkip, a Sandshrew, a Reverse Hollow, Togedimaru, and a. Uh, rare cloister card and now here we go the final pack the pack that's going to have whatever the best card in this set is like i say mental note to self research what the best card in a set is before doing these videos in future so i know what to celebrate because i might have had like a load of incredible stuff and i don't have a clue no idea i'm just having fun i'm just having a nice time opening what's here uh, so an energy card a dracloak a Corvus Squire, a Trainer, a Shroomish, Klefki. I don't think we had a Klefki before. That's always useful early on in a game, being able to draw two extra cards for um, and do some damage as well. But being able to draw two extra cards is always handy. Um, a Trubbish, a Totodile, a plan Plantump, an Electros Reverse Hollow. And our final card is a very cool holographic steelix card which i don't think we had a steelix already we've had a couple of onyx we now have a steelix as well and that is cool i have a big pile of cards to sort through i hope you enjoyed that like i say my first ever pokemon tcg pack opening first of many we've got lots of stuff to go through we've got some of the new stuff on the way as well feedback definitely welcome but if you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe because there's going to be loads more of this I'm thinking of maybe making Sunday Pokemon Day and doing a, a something else video on the other day, the Wednesday when we're bringing videos out. But it, like I say, it's all up in the air at the moment. I'll go by what the feedback is and what you lot are enjoying. So fingers crossed you've enjoyed that one. If you have, make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Thank you very much for watching.